All right, you guys. Hey, guys, how's it going? Everybody that's in the back, come over here, come in the front. Uh, by any means, does anybody know who Maxine Waters is? Oh, yeah! Huh? Yeah! There we go, we got that. Uh, you know, long ago, two years ago, I, I said to myself that I'm tired of seeing politicians underserving our communities. And I said that I wanted to take action and I wanted to do something about it. I was so tired with this false narrative. These politicians talk all they talk, all, the, all day long, they say things. Now, Maxine Waters says impeach 45, I say support 45. How about that? Support 45. Yeah. So it's time for us to take action in the state of California. How many of you, by the raise of hands, are tired of these politicians underserving us? Right here! Yeah. So what I'm here for, I started this two years ago and I didn't know that nothing was going to come from it. I didn't expect that I was going to get a, a, lot, a humbling experience from all of you. The support that I've been receiving is amazing. I've been getting so many people supporting the campaign. I have thousands of people online. I started with like 2,000 people. It's hit over 54,000 on Facebook in the past two months. I've been very happy to see that. Twitter is at 74,000 people and strong. Uh, we're, getting t we're taking a lot of action. We're doing a lot of things. We're very effective in our campaign. We identified a problem. There's a lot of voter fraud in our district. And there are people who are registered under the same name who are voting diff two different times. There are people who are voting illegally. We have to crack down on it. We gotta say no to it. We have to keep voter integrity in the state of California. We gotta make sure we're taking action. If we're not taking action, then we're not doing anything. You know, I'm here because I support the Second Amendment. I'm here because I support small business. I'm here because I support the, the jobs in the state of California. In my community, you have, hot, uh, you have Toyota. Toyota left the city of Torrance and went to Texas. And you know, I see businesses leaving and fleeing the state of California. That saddens me. That's jobs leaving too. We have to encourage businesses to stay in the state of California. You know, my, my background, I've been in business for in the past four years. I started a business when I was 23 years of age doing online marketing. I was doing marketing for nonprofits and for small businesses, political campaigns mainly. I learned a great deal on how to get the message out there and how to get my word out there. Um, a lot of people are, are noticing what we're doing because we're doing things that no one is doing. I'm showing up to city council meetings in the city of Cudahy where they declared it a sanctuary city. You know, who likes sanctuary cities in the state of California? No to sanctuary. No to sanctuary. We have to make sure that we're enforcing our immigration laws. I support legal immigration. People abuse the immigration system. My family came from Cuba and Mexico. They did things right, they didn't break any laws. They, they came through a process just like everybody else, but they bundle up immigrants all in one. They put immigrants all in one. They say, oh, you're all, you treat them as you're all illegals. But no, there are people here. There are illegal immigrants, there are legal immigrants. What side is, is breaking the law? This side. This side is doing the things the right way. They're, breaking, they're not breaking the law, they're going through a process. They're going through all the hard work that it takes to come here into this country. They're respecting the country. They're learning the Constitution. And if you learn the Constitution, you learn Western civilization. You adapt to Western civilization. That means that you're not going to turn a country into a third world environment. We have to make sure we're keeping our country safe. Uh, I see in Los Angeles, I see a third world environment. I'm so tired of it. I'm tired of people like Maxine Waters running down the state of California. And that's why, you know, that, that's why we, we have to make sure that we're draining the swamp in this state. Yeah. We have to drain the swamp, even our own swamps that we have in our own lives. So we have to do that. If we're not doing that, then we're not going to get anywhere. I'm going to ask all of you here. I encourage many of you who are from different cities to get involved locally. Get involved. Hold those city councils accountable. Don't let them take advantage of your city. You know, they misappropriate the funds, they use the funds in the wrong re for the wrong reasons. We have to make sure they're not wasting taxpayers' money. We have to make sure we're doing everything we can to hold them accountable. If we're not holding them accountable, what are we doing? We're just sitting down complaining, watching Fox News, watching the news, and not, we're, not, we're not doing anything. We gotta go up, we gotta, we gotta do something. We gotta stop watching TV, we gotta take action. I'm going out, I'm walking doors on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm talking to small business owners, I'm getting my message out there. We have to do that, we have to do it. We can no longer just sit down. And I'm very proud of this movement, I'm very proud of this movement. When, when our president got elected, everything changed. Everything changed in this state. I want you guys to know that there is hope in the state of California. We have true hope, not false hope, that Obama sold us. We have true hope for once. 
Who wants true hope? Raise your hands. True hope. We need true hope in the state of California. I, I, you know, hope and change was so dead. Nothing happened. I said to myself, we need to have true leadership. When, when Trump ran, I jumped on board from the very beginning and I said I'm going to support him because this guy is speaking the common language of the common man. The common man does not want to hear you talking down at them. They want to hear you talking with them. They want to have a dialogue with you, a conversation with you. You know, I don't see politicians, you know, they don't stay, they leave. They speak and they take off. I stay. I'm right here. I care what you, what you think. I care about what you think. I talk to you. I'll answer questions. I'm not going to dance around the issues like these politicians do. I, I'm so tired of it. I get so tired of it. And I learned a great deal from being involved for a very long time, for over nine years now. I, started, I got involved in the Republican Party when I was 19 years of age. And I learned a lot of things in the Republican Party that were broken in the Republican Party. And I said to myself, you know, th th these people are just being lazy. They're not taking action. They're just letting the state fall apart. And I said to myself, I can't watch the state fall apart any longer. I'm gonna hold them accountable. And I'm a true Republican, because I represent what the Republican values are in the state of California. And we need to have true Republicans. We need to get rid of these false Republicans that are in there. These Republicans are destroying our state. They're destroying our state because they're lazy. They are lazy. Uh, they gave I'm gonna up. give you guys a story. How many of you know that the Republican Party of Los Angeles County blocked me on Twitter? How many of you guys, raise your hand. Do you, you think that's surprising that they would do that? But I'm not surprised because everything I've done thus far, I have over 800 donors who have donated to the campaign. All individual donors, all from all types of donations, one dollar, five dollars, ten, twenty, fifty, a hundred bucks, all small donations. You know, I don't want to be beholden to special interests. Special interest owns these politicians. We have to follow the money. You know, Maxine Waters, I, I see her taking money from, from all these uh in all these uh banks. She talks bad about the banks, she talks bad about all these other people, but yet she's taking money from them. Uh, what do you guys think about that? She's taking money from them. You know, uh, no, no. We need to have people. Oh, well, I'm going to share a story with you about that. You know, her not living in her own district. So, I went to a home not too long ago um, in Hancock Park, about an hour and a, an hour and ten minutes away from my district. An hour and ten minutes away. It's next to Beverly Hills. Maxine Waters has a huge mansion in Hancock Park. The house is under her husband's name, Sydney Williams. So Matt, no one can identify if that was Maxine Waters' home. Maxine Waters lives in that home. Not only does Maxine Waters live in that home, but she's registered to vote in the district so she can vote for herself. But it doesn't disqualify you from running if you live outside, but you can't vote for yourself. But why would you be living outside the district and still have another home and you, that you're registered living in another address and be voting in that district? That for me is not common sense, that's corruption. We need to have people who are keeping integrity. I live in the district. I was born in the city of Inglewood. Uh, yeah, I was wow. born in Inglewood. I want to let everybody know that. I understand that district. I was born from there. I went to high school in Torrance. I, I was lived a portion of my life in Hawthorne. I lived all over that district. I've seen what happened. And I've seen gangbangers destroy that state. Uh, the state of California, all over California, not only in my district. Uh, in Inglewood, you see gangbangers in parks. You see gangbangers all over the place, drug dealers. And for me, that, that's sickening that I see that. I, I, you know, we're not, we're not taking care of our own people. How, how, do you, how many of you want to live in a community where you see gangbangers in parks, you see drug dealers, you see trash all over the place? How, how, how is that good for property values? When I, talk to, when I talk to voters and small business owners, and a lot of small business owners are uninclined to fix their, their own businesses, to improve their own businesses, because of all those issues in their communities. So if we address that and we got the community involved, then that's what I've been focusing on, are issues that are nonpartisan, issues that, that most people are concerned about. That's why people have been listening to what I've been doing, because I focus on things of reality. If you go to the welfare office, in Los Angeles, you will see that there are people driving Mercedes, people driving BMWs that are accepting welfare. That is unacceptable. Unacceptable. We have to crack down on that. We yeah. have to crack down on welfare abuse in our state. We have to crack down on illegal aliens. We have to crack down in the state of California. We have to do things to get the job done. But we're not getting the job done. I want to get the job done. I am going to get the job done. Yeah. I'm going to defeat Maxine Waters. I'm going to defeat her. He's a tired.
tired of seeing these politicians destroy this state. I sat for so many years, so many years, so many years just watching, and I said to myself, I'm so tired of sitting down, I'm gonna get up off my butt, I'm gonna take action, enough is enough, everybody, enough's enough. We have to do something. This election is the most important election in the state of California. Maxine Waters, we're gonna drain the swamp in the 43rd Congressional District. We're gonna make sure that we get you out of there. And this is my message to you. If you're gonna keep turning down the debates that I've been asking you to debate me, we went to your office and we asked you for a debate. No answer has happened. My message is to you, debate me, because I will crush you in every minute, in every second. You will not stand a chance against me. You will not beat me. I will beat you because you are not doing anything in that district. 27 years. People have lost family to gangbangers. Crime is rising. The police department is being left, left behind all over the state. All over the state. I'm sickened by this. I'm sickened of public safety. Public safety officials are being put last. Where, where's the support for our firefighters, our police officers, the men and women who protect us, who save us from our freedom? I have family in the military. And I respect them. I respect what they're doing. We have to start honoring them. We have to start paying tribute to them and to what they're doing. But I, I go to the VA uh, and I talk to veterans. When I go to the VA, I, go, I talk to veterans. And veterans tell me they're not, they're not doing anything. We, we, we paid a price for our country and, our, and the freedom in our country. And no one's doing anything to help us. They're helping the dreamers. They're helping all the illegals. They're handing all these things out for welfare. We're not cracking down on it. We're not supporting our own. And I'm running on putting America first. And we have to put the, the 43rd Congressional District first again. The 43rd Congressional District.